Hello and welcome to this video on extending templates in Flask. So I have a basic Flask app here with two templates. This is the homepage template and this is the dashboard template. Let's take a look at these in the editor. So here's our homepage template. It is a full HTML document. So it has all of the head tags, the header, the footer, the closing tags. And this is the only unique content to this template. And if we look at the dashboard template, it's the same setup. All of the opening head tag information, the header, the footer, the closing tags, but this is the only unique content for this template. So if we wanted to change, for example, the title, we'd have to do this in two places, or if you have a larger app, potentially many different places. So that's not the most efficient way to set up our templates. Let's create a base template, which has all of the repeated elements, and then make our homepage and dashboard templates only contain the content that is unique to them. So let's start in the templates directory by creating a new template, and let's call it base.html. And in that file, let's copy all of our template, but take out the homepage specific content. And in place of that, let's create a placeholder area where we can inject the homepage template. So we'll use a block and we'll call it content. And this is where the homepage template will be inserted or the dashboard template will be inserted. So now let's go to our homepage template and modify it. Let's only keep the content that is unique to the homepage. So we'll copy this, get rid of everything else, and we'll create a block tag here to match the one we created on the base template. And this is where our homepage template will go. And at the very top, we just have to say that this template extends the base template. So we'll type extends base.html. And that's it. Let's do the same thing for the dashboard template. This is the only unique piece to the dashboard template. So we'll copy that, get rid of everything else, extend the base template, and create a content block. There we go, let's test it out. Here's our dashboard page. It looks exactly the same. It's just set up more efficiently. And here's our homepage. So everything is working as expected. So in this example, we just created one block called content for the main content of our templates. But we can create any number of blocks with different names. For example, if we wanted to add certain classes to the body tag, depending on which template you're on, we could create a block within the class attribute here. Let's test this out. So I will copy that and let's go to the dashboard template and let's give it a specific body class. Let's save this and take a look. On the home page. There are no body classes, but if we go to the dashboard page, we have a class of dashboard on the body tag. And this class gives us a darker background in this example. Another useful example is setting up a block tag down here for scripts. So you might want to only load job, certain JavaScript files on certain templates, and so you can create a block like this for that. So let's say on the dashboard template only, once the user's in their dashboard and logged in, you want to load some JavaScript to handle that. We could just do this. And there we go. This would only load on the dashboard template. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.